Red hot magma. Come and get your red hot magma. Red hot magma. Red hot magma for your pistols and your soul. The Dark Souls. Well, I guess you could, I uh, wouldn't call it a Dark Souls game, but I thought this was going to be a beat em up, so I went in thinking, like, sweet. And then we went through the tutorial. It's like, this is how you grab your pistol. This, this is, is how, how you shoot, shoot your pistol. You this is level up. I honestly, like, this Dead Time Defenders, it feels like what if Punisher meets Halloween? And, like, the fact that you can then craft new weapons. What was the other well, stuff? Craft uh, bombs. I haven't used them. We have them. Cocktails, yeah. And then proximity bombs. And, like, but once we played it, I realized, like, no, it's not really like a beat em up or it's kind of like a shooter grinder game because it feels like a mobile game, but as far as I know, it's not because a lot of the mobile games they do this like you start to play a few levels and they have to go back and like collect crystals or whatever um, and then like level up your character and then you grind and long enough to like get to the end of the game. So it's like it's more of a grinder than a beat em up, but. I think I found I, it by going through beat em ups. I actually think, uh, you know, it's more like Borderlands meets a 2D Halloween. I mean, no, 2D Borderlands Halloween. Yeah, it just, the whole grinding thing, it feels like, yeah, they, they took a, like, they designed it as a mobile game, but then they released it as a Steam game. That's what and it feels like. And it feels a lot more fleshed out. Damn. Yeah. But it's a lot of fun. Like, I feel like in short bursts, like, other than, like, at the beginning, you're not really grinding so much. Like, you're making progress, and, like, you get gear, rare gear, and, like, crystals to unlock the next level. But I feel like we got to a point, like, halfway through where we have to, like, grind a lot more. Yeah. To, which is kind of crappy because, just, like, yeah, and it sort of, like, fillers the game up. Yeah, you just... Yeah, basically what you just need to do is get yourself a high enough level gun and then you can breeze through everything. Well, it's just you, you're replaying, like, the same levels. So, like, the initial, like, love I had for the game where I was like, oh, cool, it's like a sort of like a Halloween beat-em-up and then it sort of became like... Oh, we just got a grind, man. Yeah, and it's kind of disappointing. Like, I still really like it. I think it's like 10 or $12. Um, and it's like a cool game because if you just want to jump in and like take out some baddies with like some cool weapons then yeah this game's for you but yeah if you really we took we played this game for an hour every other the, the other games we played we took like 30 minutes yeah but then i feel with this one like i went in thinking it was going to be like a two to four player beat em up yeah beat them or shoot them up and like but it's kind of like oh it's just one player so yeah but i mean it like i like there's a sense of, like, progression that basically gets the Skinner Box formula going, you know? Yeah, and what I feel like, the graphics are really cool. They they could have made the levels longer, but, like, what's there is neat. They just, uh... Well, what they... Lack needed extra levels, I feel like. Well, no, it... Okay, so, they don't have levels, per se, but they mm -hmm. have, like, settings and modes. So, like, yeah. you can go to, like, eight different settings, like the underworld or outer space or whatever and then for missions you can do stuff like oh you have to fight waves or you have to protect someone or you have to destroy a it crystal. It does make it more refreshing though like instead of it just being a straight up like scroll along shoot at the bad guys so it does make it more interesting for sure I just uh, you know it would be cool if there were more levels but I guess you know it is what it is. Eh yeah um, I think with I think with the selection you have, you basically have like a pretty uh, solid experience overall. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's more of a drop-in game. That's the thing. Like it's rather than like, you know, you play this like for ten hours straight. Like it's sort of like you play it for a little bit, and then you know you have to go do something else and then drop. A short down. burst game. Yeah, like a drop-in game is something I would say more yeah. like like a like a game you would play like at a, a convention. MMO? Oh, okay. So, like, you could just, like, you literally just drop in and you can play and then you can drop out with no hassle. Yeah. Uh, 
I, some co-op game. I meant game drop like in, that. like pick up and play. I guess. Is yeah. What so, I meant. Yeah, yeah, very. It's very pick up and play. It's mm. like you can really get into this. The writing is pretty uh, solid. Yeah. It basically gives you that Saturday morning cartoony feel, even though it's basically the plot for Doom. Yeah, it is. That's the funny part. But I, I like the design. Like even though, you know, you could play it and you just, you know, grind, grind, grind forever endlessly. I think like the fact that the went this initially they went with like the Halloween theme, then they went with like sort of like aliens, just alien stages from what we saw and you no, know, it's just it's it's solid. Like it looks really good. It sounds good. The music's fun. Um, but yeah, if you don't mind like a short term like investment and like it's not going to be an RPG with 40 hours, I think you could probably beat this in another like five hours or so, which is yeah. decent for like 10 bucks. So. Oh yeah, definitely. Maybe mm -hmm. even seven hours if you need to grind a little, but yeah, yeah. but I definitely, I probably give it an eight. Like it's fun. Um, it's definitely like something I would come back to, but I think there was me, a glitch we came across though. Yeah, yeah, you you explain it. Okay, so like during one of the modes, um, our character would die, but then like we wouldn't be sent to the menu or <laughs> they whatever. They would still be punching. We would have to like, like press start and go to abandoned run, even though yeah, our character is and dead. That's like what the heck? We played less than an hour and like. What prompted that? And it happened twice, too, which was yeah. same level, too. S well, yeah. So, like, who that... tested this game? Like, no offense to... Maybe it was, like, something we but... had or something, but, yeah, yeah, this is, like, something weird it needs surprising. to be looked into. Yeah. Just so early into the game. So, um, yeah, I would say try it out. It's fun. It's got a cool theme, and... Uh, I feel like it's kind of an obscure Steam game. I don't remember how I found it. I think it was just randomly. I was typing Defenders and it just came up. Boom shakalaka. Yeah. So what would you rate it? I would rate it a 9, personally. 9? This is, yeah, this is actually, this has a really nice fun, but the grinding and all that definitely makes it, especially when you realize, yeah, I'm going nowhere with this, even though I'm trying the same mess. thing. Even crystal though mess. I need to go back <laughs> to, like, an earlier, no, not to collect crystals, even, to collect higher ge level weapons. Yeah. Like, it, it, it's, it's like a side scrolling Diablo in the sense that you go back to the yes. levels and you grind. Side scrolling grinder. Which sounds looter really shooter. like dating. <laughs> so, looter shooter, yeah, there you go. No loot boxes. But you do get loot. Yeah. Lots of loot. Yeah. Lots of Halloween loot. Oh, and there's a lot of uh, really cool uh, customization options, too. Like and it might go on sale in the Steam Autumn sale. Who knows? Who Christmas knows? Sale. Yeah. Only one way to find out. Loot boxes. Loot boxes, <laughs> baby. All right. Keep a looting. Looting.